show you something that's crazy I have to put on gloves for this but I went out of town prior to going out of town I went to the farmers market I was like oh I'm gonna grow my own mushroom um, some oyster mushrooms so I bought one of those black sealed bags um, to grow my mushrooms at home and then I was like oh I'm going out of town well I'll just do it when I get back and let me show you what happened because I didn't do anything to it it was still in a sealed vacuum sealed black bag let me show you what happened and um, I'm gonna put a mask on because I don't know what to expect. This is a little weird, I might add. So, let's take a look. Okay, so I lined my floor with a trash bag just so like it has somewhere to sit and I can show you guys. But, I was like, this is my farmer's market bag. Like, this is a cute farmer's market bag. And in this bag, as you can already see, I had a black sealed bag that was for the mushroom. But when I came back from my trip, the mushroom bursted out of the bag and is now growing inside this burlap bag. I literally did nothing at all. No water, no nothing. And it just like burst it out of the bag. So let's take it out and see what it looks like. Ugh, see it's all spawned everywhere. The bag's all dusty. Like you can see that there's like a, a weight pulling it down and like it's heavy and I can feel there's stuff inside and this is the soil, this brick down here. So I'm holding the camera with my dominant hand so my cutting skills may not be so great. Oh, gross. Woo, I'm not sure you can see in there. Whoa. I'm so scared to even open this bag. Ugh. Oh, there's some water. Huh. Or maybe there's water on the scissors. Not from the bag. Bottom of a mushroom, it looks like, I don't know. Let's 
keep opening and see what we find. Oh, oh my God. get in here the condensation I don't know is like crazy okay let's see how big this mushroom thing is let's see if we can cut cut it out uh, oh oh bro oh it looks so disgusting look at that it looks like mucus spider webs in there. Oh, this is foul. Um, if you know anything about mushrooms, please let me know what this is. I have no clue. I have no clue. Sorry, but look at that mushroom. Woo. This is the base. Like, this is like so moist and wet. Okay, we're gonna put that specimen down here. Now we're gonna, because we're already kind of ripped it. Okay, I'm gonna have to put my phone, I'm gonna have to put the camera down. Also using my phone, hold please. Still working, have to get on my next glove for this next part. <sighs> okay, I needed two hands to take the mushroom off of this bursting area where it grew out of. Oh, it's 
mind you, this is like so wet. the mushroom out just about oh yeah it's out. plastics like grown in between the mushrooms because it's like so crazy but ah! mushroom is I don't even know if I can eat this let me know in the comments below if I should eat this like, the mushroom is just growing. Look at all those little baby ones. If it had space. Or maybe if I didn't cut it yet, it would have spawned even more. Because look how moist in there it was. Like, whoo, crazy. Look at all these little baby mushrooms down here that would have spawned out. Crazy. So yeah, this is what happens when you buy, when you think you're gonna grow mushrooms at home and you just leave it in a plastic bag, not doing anything with it yet because you're like, oh, I'm not ready to like actually make the mushrooms yet and then you go on vacation you know for a couple weeks and you come back to this like that's insane i will say that like i did have this like one week prior maybe two weeks prior to um before going on vacation so maybe like a total of a month max this is what happened when you when i absolutely did nothing absolutely did nothing to the bag. I didn't water it. I didn't do nothing. I just left it in this burlap bag. And I'm not sure if this burlap made it so moist inside to give it the proper condition to spawn this giant mushroom conglomerate. Like, look at it. Here's my hand. Look, look how big that is. You know? Like, it is like a fistful. And if I would have let it kept growing, right? Maybe I should have let it kept growing and see what it would have happened over the course of another several weeks. It would have been like absolutely insane. So let me know what you guys think. Like, should I try again at trying to make some mushrooms? Who knows? But yeah, this is my failed attempt of being super procrastinating with trying to make some mushrooms and it made itself. So thanks for watching. Have a good day.